Hello, this is Eric Martin with the Mechanical Engineering Department at the University of Maine. In today's video, we're going to look at shared files, folders, and drives within Google Drive. Using Google Drive allows us to share files and folders. The owner of the file or folder can set access restrictions and permission restrictions. A shared drive, which used to be called Team Drive, enables a team of members to own and manage the actual drive. And this is available only to G Suite users. A word of caution when sharing files. First, it's very easy to do, and once you do, you lose control of these files. Once you share a file, the recipient can easily download or copy the file to another location. Once that happens, the owner loses all control of these files. A message to students, never ever share your academic assignment with one another. Sharing these files or using files that have been shared with you can be considered an academic integrity violation. And of course, this is not in reference to team or group projects. Let's look at sharing files and folders in Google Drive. Here I've got a folder called Various Files. You can right click on the folder. I've got two options. I've got Share and Get Shareable Link. When I click Get Shareable Link, I have a toggle to turn on the link and off. This link can be copied and pasted into an email or even added to a website so there's a direct link to the file. There's some sharing settings. And here we can see that by default, anyone at the University of Maine system with the link can view. You should only see this if you have a G Suite account at your organization. I can change it so that it is anyone with the link or restrict it to specific individuals. I can change the options for the recipient of the link, either that they can view or they can actually edit, organize, and add files to the folder. When I click Done, you'll notice that the icon changes. We can see that there's a person, which means that I'm sharing my file with other people. I can also share files with individuals by right-clicking and clicking on Share, and I can either add someone's name or email address. Once their name is entered, I have an option to send a message, and we can change our permissions like earlier. When I send it and go back to my various files, I can go to Share, we can click on the drop down and we can change the permissions. We can even make the person the owner of the folder and we can remove the person from accessing the folder. However, if the person has already saved the folder or the files to another location, clicking remove will not delete those items from that person's computer. That person will retain those items. So as a reminder, you want to be careful as to which files and folders you share with others. Now let's look at folders or files that people have shared with me. You can see I've got an option here which says shared with me and when I click on that there's many different items here. I may want to initiate a search and so I'm going to search for our Engineering Education Design Center EEDC and even so once I do that I can still see there's quite a bit to look for here. I'm going to refine my search option. I'm going to have owner anyone except me so it won't be mine and I can also look for a specific spot. I'm going to look under shared with me and now when I search I'm limited to a few, and this is the folder that I would like. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to add the shortcut to my drive. By doing this, I'm going to have quick access to the folder that I didn't have earlier. It's going to ask me where I want to put that shortcut. I think I'm going to put it right in my drive, right at the upper level, so that we can see it quickly. At the bottom, it says that the shortcut has been added. Now, when I go to my drive, I see the folder is available. And I can open up and I can see all the information that we have inside. The additional advantage of having the shortcut added to my drive is I can go under Drive File Stream, drag it from my other monitor, under My Drive, I can see EEDC, and that is the shortcut to the folder that we were just looking at. And so now I can access the folders and files directly from my desktop without having to go into the web browser. Since this is a shortcut, I'm also able to move the shortcut folder to a different location. And I'm also able to delete the shortcut. And since I'm not the owner of the folder, the information is not deleted from our shared drive. I can go back to Google Drive, and we see that the folder is still there. In the previous example, a folder was shared with the user directly. Here we're going to see that sometimes a link is sent to a user or to a class or to a group of users. Here we are in Google Classroom. We've got a post. Post is for a Google Drive folder that's been shared. The instructor tells the students to click the link below to access the folder and then to add the shortcut to Drive. 
you want to be sure that you never click on a link for a Google Drive folder or any shared folder unless you're certain of the intentions of the sender. When I click on the link, Google Drive will open. We see that we have some course documents, presentation template, a report template. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add this shortcut to our drive. Click on Add Shortcut to Drive, put it right in My Drive. We'll add shortcut. And once again, one of the purposes for adding the shortcut is that we're able to access the folder from our computer. I can come to my File Explorer, Google Drive File Stream, My Drive, and I can see the folder right here. The last thing we'll look at is shared drives. It used to be called Team Drives. This is only available to G Suite users. You can see here I have a few shared drives. I'm members of these drives. I can add a new shared drive by right clicking on shared drive and clicking new shared drive. I'll call this design project. And shared drives are a fantastic way for students to be working together on a project. All the files are shared by the members of the project and you may have multiple managers as we'll see in a moment. We can see that we have the new drive. And you can just drop files here or folders to populate the drive. But what I want to look at is adding members. Adding members is very similar to how we did that with a shared folder. And you can just start typing a name here and they will be added. I'll show you a different drive. If we look under UMain SAE, I can manage the members. I am a manager of this folder, as we can see here. And we can see that we have many different members, including a few other managers. But as a manager, I'm able to change what the members are able to do. A viewer is able to view the files, a commenter is able to view and comment, contributor can add and edit files, content manager can move these files around including delete files, and a manager can do all the above including they can change the settings for different people, the permissions for different people, as well as drive settings. Under drive settings, we can see that we can change it so that people outside the university main system can view it or have access to it sharing with non-members and allowing commenters and viewers to download and print from these files. And that is how to access files and folders that have been shared with you and how to share files and folders with others and how to set up a team drive or a shared drive. Thank you.